Good day. So last time, kinumpleto natin yung integrals ng anim natin na trigonometric function, sine, cosine, uh, tangent, cotangent, secant, cotangent. And in this video, ang titingnan naman natin ay integrals of this form na sine x to the nth power times cosine x to the nth power where m and n are both positive integers. And we'll consider the following cases. So first, ano yung magiging approach natin if the power of the sine function is odd? Then, ano yung magiging approach if the power of the cosine function is odd? And finally, ano yung magiging approach if both powers are even? If both powers are odd, then we could do either approaches na sine is odd or cosine is odd. But if both powers are even, then magiging iba yung approach natin. I split the discussion into two videos. For this first video, I'll cover the first two cases. And yung last case, yung parehong even yung powers, we'll see kung bakit kailangan niya ng separate video for it. So in the integral of sine raised to a power times cosine na raised to a power, syempre parehong of x, pag yung power ni sine ay odd, yung substitution na gagamitin natin ay u equals cosine of x. So necessarily, yung du natin ay negative sine of x. So for the case na add yung power ng sine, ang gagamitin natin na example ay itong integral of sine x to the 7th times cosine x to the 8th. This is again by substitution and we'll start by letting u is equal to cosine x and du is equal to negative sine x. So let's rewrite our given. We could rewrite it as negative of sine to the 6 x times cosine x to the 8th power times negative sine x dx. So may negative sa labas para i-cancel out yung negative na kailangan para sa du. And since yung u natin ay cosine x at kinuha na natin yung isang sine x dun sa may odd na powers ng sine, even na yung powers ng matitirang sine, pwede na natin gamitin yung Pythagorean identity for sine and cosine. And we could rewrite yung factor na sine x to the 6 in terms of cosine. So we'll rewrite this as the negative of the integral. Okay, stop muna ako. Negative of the integral of the quantity 1 minus cosine squared x. So yung 1 minus cosine squared x, sine squared x yun. Ang kailangan natin, sine x to the 6th. Ire-raise na lang natin yung sine squared x in the form of 1 minus cosine squared x to the 3rd power times cosine x to the 8th power times negative sine x times dx. And now we're ready to apply the substitution and write this as negative of the integral 1 minus u squared to the 3rd power times u to the 8th times du. Now at this point, algebraic na lang siya. So we'll just go through the motions na expand natin yung 1 minus u squared to the 3rd power. So that's the expansion. Then we'll distribute si u to the 8th. Okay, so that's the result. And then we apply integrals using the power rule. So now this is equivalent to uh, negative of the quantity u to the 9th over 9 and so on. So, so back substituting si cosine, this is equal to, ah well, ang ginawa ko, dinistribute ko na rin pala yung negative. Tapos nirearrange ko para mauna yung highest powers. Note na dun sa taas, nasa dulo yung u to the 15. So now it's cosine x to the 15 over 15 minus 3 times cosine x to the 13th over 13 plus 3 times cosine x to the 11th over 11 minus cosine x to the 9th power over 9 plus our constant. So pwede siya maging mahaba. Pero notice yung important part no, ay tapos na dun pa lang sa substitution. Kaya natin ginagamit yung identifier na odd yung power ng sine. Kasi kukunin natin yung isa sa kanila at ipapartner natin kay du. So we expect na pag tinignan natin yung next case, yung odd yung power ng cosine, it will be the same approach. In the integral naman na sine raised to a power times cosine raised to a power, pag yung power naman ni cosine yung odd, yung substitution na gagamitin natin ay u is equal to sine of x. So for the case na odd naman yung power ng cosine, ito yung titignan natin example, integral of sine x quantity to the 4th power times cosine x quantity to the 5th power dx. So since yung cosine yung may odd na power, Ang magiging approach natin ay yung isa, yung sine yung magiging u, tas yung du natin ay cosine x dx. So kukuha tayo ng isang cosine dun sa lima at yun yung ipapartner natin kay dx. So we let u be equal to sine x and of course du will be cosine x dx. And let's rewrite first our given to be sine x quantity to the fourth times cosine x quantity to the fourth times cosine x dx. And then 
Itatake advantage natin yung Pythagorean identity na ang cosine squared x ay equal sa 1 minus sine squared x. And also, yung cosine x to the fourth power, titignan natin siya or i-rewrite natin siya na cosine squared x quantity squared. So, we'll rewrite it as sine x quantity to the fourth power. And ito na, papasok ko na yung Pythagorean identity. This will now be rewritten as 1 minus sine squared x quantity squared. So, yung thing na yan na ini square that's equal to cosine x to the fourth power times cosine x dx. And now, we're ready to apply substitution. So, this is equal to u to the fourth, 1 minus u squared, quantity squared, du. So, we'll just expand yung binomial and then later distribute natin yung u to the fourth. And take note that at this point, meron na lang tayong algebraic na integral na natural number powers. So, we'll just apply the power rule. So, we could write this as u to the ninth over 9 and so on. And then, we'll back substitute. So, palitan natin lahat ng u ng sine x. And what we'll arrive at is our answer na sine x quantity to the ninth over 9 minus 2 over 7 times sine x to the 7th power plus 1 over 5 times sine x quantity to the 5th power. Of course, plus our constant of integration. Okay? So, it's equal to our given. Ang gagawin natin next ay titingin tayo ng example na parehong powers ay odd. So, for the case na both powers are odd, ang example natin ay integral of sine cube of x plus cosine to the fifth of x dx. Let's try both approaches, no? Na ang pipiliin nating u ay sine, tas yung pipiliin nating u ay cosine. Let's start by pipiliin nating u ay sine. So, let u be equal to sine x and du be equal to cosine x. If we do this, we'll first rewrite yung cosine. As hihiwalay muna natin yung cosine na gagamitin ni du. So, we'll rewrite it like this. Uh, integral of sine cube x times cosine to the fourth of x times cosine x dx. So, this is equal to uh, integral of the sine of cube x times 1 minus sine squared x raised to the second power or squared. Kasi cosine to the fourth yung matitire. Times cosine x dx. And then, we'll apply the substitution step. So, this is equal to integral of u cubed times 1 minus u squared quantity squared du. We'll just expand this as usual and distribute yung u cubed. And then, naturally, apply the power rule para makuha yung integral niya. And then, back substitute. So, may makukuha tayong result. At ito yun, no? Let's wait for it. It will be equal to sine x uh, raised to the 8th power over 8 minus sine to the 6th power of x over 3 plus 1 fourth sine to the 4th power of x. Well, of course, plus our constant of integration. Now, what I want to do is to compare yung result na to dun sa makukuha nating result pag ang pinili nating u ay cosine. So, for our second attempt, we'll use u is equal to cosine x and du is equal to sin negative sine x dx. So, we'll rewrite our given. So, nisinulat ko naman dun para ma-refer natin, no? na sine cube times cosine to the fifth. So, we'll rewrite it as the negative of the integral of sine squared x times cosine to the fifth of x times negative sine x dx. Now, of course, since yung u natin ay cosine, yung sine yung i-convert natin to cosine, and that will be equivalent to 1 minus cosine squared of x, cosine x to the fifth times negative sine x dx. Then, we apply our substitution kasi u is equal to cosine x. So, it will be equal to this. Again, expand and distribute. Ay, madali lang pala yung distribution na kasi binomial lang. So, take the antiderivative of u to the 7th minus u to the 5th. You'll get this. And then, back substitute. And we'll arrive at our result, no? Na cosine to the 8th of x over 8 minus cosine to the 6th of x over 6. Okay? So, we'll open up Desmos. So, ipasok natin yung dalawa nating results, no? sa Desmos at i-compare natin kung equal ba sila kasi pareho ito yung dalawang result na lumabas no kinuha natin yung antiderivatives eh so this is the result for nung ginawa nating let u be equal to sin x at ito yung result when u is equal to cosine x ha di natin makita so let's scale up our axis y axis okay clearly hindi sila equal hindi sila nag-overlap eh pero if you take a look they have the same shape and they will only differ by a particular constant. 
So, tandaan natin, yung antiderivatives, infinite yan. Kasi pwede tayong may isamang constant at pag kinuha natin derivative doon, babalik pa rin tayo sa original. So, the fact na these two functions, these two results, ay hindi man sila equal, ay magkaiba lang sila by a constant means na pareho silang tama, pareho silang antiderivative nung given natin. So, yung remaining case, yung parehong even, yung powers ng sine at ng cosine, we'll tackle that in our next video. And for now, salamat sa pakikinig.